Hello everyone and welcome back to our DAX for Beginners series. My name is Brad and in today's video we'll be talking about context in DAX. And more specifically, we'll be looking at row context, filter context, and context transition. And these concepts are critical for creating advanced calculations and fully unlocking the power of DAX. All right, let's take a look. So what is row context? This refers to the current row being evaluated in a table or calculated column. Put another way, row context tells DAX which row to use when it is trying to get the value of a column. Let's work with an example by taking a look at our data set. Now let's say we want to create a calculated column to find the total revenue for each transaction with a 10% tax applied. We can do this by multiplying sales by a fixed rate of 1.1. Our columns function will be put together like this. DAX will use this formula to evaluate each row individually, applying the calculation to the sales column for each row. Let's also go ahead and create a measure to sum up all of these values. We can see how this works in our table visual here, where we've got each transaction in a row. If we go row by row, we can see that the values for total revenue are 10% more than the values for sales. This will also work when grouping data together. So if we create a new table with country and pull in sales and total revenue, we can see that the correct values are displaying for each country category. Okay, on to filter context. Filter context is the set of filters that apply to a DAX formula, determined by slicers, filters, or visual interactions. It affects the scope of the data being calculated. Let's work with an example by pulling in a matrix visual and adding country in our all sales measure. We know that our all sales measure is just the sum of the sales column in our data set. However, depending on the filter context, the formula here will produce different values. In our visual, we've got all sales sliced by country, and the formula is producing values for each country. The differences in each row for the country's sales and the total is the filter context. Our matrix table here is creating a different filter for each row. Filter context can also apply to multiple columns at once. If we add in product to our matrix visual, we can see our total column still holds the totals for each country, but we've got an additional filter context added to each country with our products columns. Next is context transition, which is something we also worked with a bit in our previous video. Context transition occurs when row context is converted into filter context, usually when using functions like calculate or sumx. This allows row level calculations to apply filters to the entire table. Let's take a look at the market share for all countries measure by pulling it into our matrix table alongside our total revenue measure. If we look at the modified DAX for our market share measure, we can see that we're using the divide function. Nestled within that is a sum function that is calculating the sale for the current row, which is our row context, and the calculate function transitions this row context into a filter context, enabling the entire formula to compute the total sale across all countries ignoring slicers or any other filters. Okay, to recap, we covered the row context, filter context, and context transition concepts today. These are a little more advanced topics, but they're important to think about and understand as you're looking to develop your skills within Power BI and provide advanced analysis. We'll stop there for now, but if you have any questions about this content or would like the BICS team to cover a topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos, and thanks for watching.